if you've been following the channel for very long, you probably figured out that I like survival kits. Uh, I like checking them out. I like seeing what's out there. I like to kind of trying to look at different ones and decide if they'd be something that could really be helpful to help you survive. So in today's video anyway, we're going to take a look at a survival kit from Russia from the folks at Kislyar Supreme, the uh, Kislyar Supreme Moly Survival Kit. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. And as I said, today we're gonna to take a look at um, a survival kit from Russia from the folks at Kislyar Supreme, and it's their uh, SMP-1 survival kit, and it comes in this nice little um, belt pouch here, or molly pouch, and has a nice little um, box that it's in. So we're gonna take a look at that. First, I want to um, give a big shout out to my, my friends at Big Daddy Unlimited. Yep, you know I like Big Daddy Unlimited. They are my number one go-to source for all things related to uh, camping, outdoors, guns, knives, ammo, all that stuff. Um, and the reason is because as a member, I get near wholesale pricing on that stuff. And if you're not familiar, the way it works is Big Daddy Unlimited is a membership buyer's club, which allows them to sell stuff at below the minimum advertised pricing structure that manufacturers uh, require most retailers to follow uh, because they don't advertise to the public they don't have to um, follow that so that allows them to sell to you at a much lower price so um, the uh, membership fee is ten dollars a month or 99 bucks a year but if you uh, use the link in the video description below or survivalonpurpose.com slash BDU, you can get your first 30 day trial period for 99 cents. Check it out, see if it makes sense for you, if you think it'll save you some money. If so, stick with it. If not, cancel it. So, anyway, um, right now, Big Daddy Unlimited is a great supporter of the channel, and they're also one of my favorite sites because I buy a lot of stuff on there too. So, anyway, uh, thanks again to Big Daddy Unlimited. Now, let's talk about the uh, Kislyar Supreme Survival Kit. And before we get down to the old stump top here, uh, real quickly, let me ramble just a little bit more. Um, I try to review things that are readily available. I don't know that this one is. Um, I looked all over the place for it. The only place I could find it is from the um, from the importer uh, at Cast Iberia. So, and they're about 75 bucks, just to be straight with you on that. So, I think you can still buy them directly from Cast Iberia. You might find them somewhere else on the old internet. But um, either way, I think it's cool to check them out just to see what's available, what's out there on the market, and especially from other places. Like this is from Russia, so pretty cool to see what what the Russians think about survival so now without any more rambling let's get down to the old uh, stump top and see what's in the uh, survival kit okay so what I thought we'd do is we're just we're just gonna open this thing up and see what's in here I've got a list but it's, it's easier just to show you so first of all um, it comes in this nice molly pouch big old patch of velcro hook and loop whatever you want to call it um, with strap here and then it has a uh, molly attachment design back here so um, there's that. So really, really solid pouch for a survival kit. Put it on your backpack, on your belt, whatever. So we'll take that out, set this aside, see what's in here. Kizzy R Supreme on the label 10. We'll open it up, a lot of stuff in there right now. So we're just gonna start dragging it out. Let's just dump it out here and see what's in there. So it's in, in, in packaged in a little plastic baggie, a Ziploc baggie. I don't know how good that's for, but let's see. Here, so we've got a, uh, First of all, the tin box it says it has a reflective surface for, for signaling. Um, I would probably question whether how effective that would be, but see, then we've got two surgical razor blades for uh, cutting cutting implements. So we got a, a little pointy one here and a curved one here. I'm not gonna open these up right now, but that's what they are, uh, obviously. Um, as a fire starter kit, let's see, we've got some matches here. These are the stormproof type matches pretty cool there we'll try those in just a minute has a uh, little ferro rod with a striker here this is one of those pieces of ferro rod you know I don't know they paint these things to keep them from rusting but that decreases the effectiveness I think I think whoever designed these things um, probably somebody in China really has never ever even had to use a ferro rod but there's some with no paint on it there let's just see if it okay so that that works sort of there's that. Uh, let's see. We have a medical cotton wool. It's here. 
It can also be used for fire starting, so just little pieces of wool. So let's just do that. Let's see how, how well that works, because I want to, um, I'm sure that's it, yeah. All right, so a little piece of that off of there, put it in, in the tin. I don't want to mess up my uh, Hidden Woodsman signal panel here, because it's there. So we'll just put this little one here in the top here. We're going to do a little test while we're here. You know, might as well, right? And this is in a little Ziploc baggie to keep it dry, which is good. Get it back in the baggie now, it'll be even better. I'm burning up valuable, valuable <laughs> daylight here. This is about to get dark. And we're getting ready for trick or treaters here. So, anyway, let's try this. Stay, I'll pin you down like I like you. Oh, actually, just put you on top. That way you're, you're out of the way. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's burning, it's burning, it's burning. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, it burned and it's still burning down there on the ground. So uh, that worked very good. I'm going to assume the matches work, but um, we can open them up and see if you want to. You want to open them up and see? All right, we will. I guess I could have used a razor blade in there, but I'm not going to do that right now. So here's a match. Yeah. Striker, here's the uh, match. I don't have any water to dip them in, so we're not going to do that right now. But. but they're kind of windproof and they kind of burn. Um, but I, I don't think they're as good as Yukos. But they, they, they seem to work, okay? There's that. It says there are some emergency water purification pills in here. Um, I'm looking for them. And I do not see them. I do not see emergency water purification pills. Now maybe I'm missing them. Maybe they're in here. I don't think so. Hmm. So, I don't find any water purification pills in here. Oh, wait. Maybe they're in this little thing here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. So... They're kind of crumbly, but it says they, uh, they're four pieces in a sealed container and use one piece for each liter of water. Shake for one minute, wait five minutes, shake again before drinking. So they're kind of crumbled up in there, but they're in there. And they're also in this little container, which is which is pretty good. Um, sealed the bottle. So this is a little sealed bottle they're calling it. Well, it's, well, that's good though. I like the fact that there's a container there so you can, um, it's got a, well, let's see if I can get them back out of there now. It's got an o-ring in it to keep it make it waterproof let's see so i think what you have to do with these things is you have to put them in the lid first like so because the lid goes inside and screw that back on so that's pretty cool um, and you can use this for a lot of other things as well get that out of the way what's next on the list there's a compass let's just see if the compass seems to be working this is not a fancy compass it's a little plastic compass but Trying to get it out here away from the metal. And okay, the compass is not moving really well. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna give the compass a fail. I mean it might work eventually, maybe, sort of. We're giving the compass a fail. I'm not happy with the compass. Uh, about a survival whistle. This is a little standard aluminum whistle with a plastic uh, insert. Let's see. Okay, pretty decent, not the loudest I've ever heard. There's that. Uh, let's see what else. This is, there's a wire saw with comfortable rings. Never been a big fan of these wire saws. So sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. A lot of people tell me I need to put it between two sticks, but I don't like to do that um, just because I want to see how well it works normally. So, we um, should we test the wire saw out? Why not, right? And let's just see how well it works. So we're gonna we're gonna saw something with it. What can we saw with it? Let's just saw a piece of wood. <laughs> That's the best thing to saw. If I can get it out of here. Man, it's in there. They got it wrapped around pretty good in there, don't they? There we go. Okay. Let's just take this piece of wood right here. Whatever this happens to be. Stick it off the end there and see how well it saws. Okay. We're just going to saw like this.
Okay, so it'll saw, uh, not, not super fast. I think the one I saw from France uh, was a little better than this. We, were, we, we looked at on a sportsman's guide, military surplus minute, uh, but um, in, in a pinch, it'll probably saw some small stuff, but I don't know. Um, okay, there's that. Uh, it's got some uh, brass wire, one meter of brass wire. You can use that for making maybe snares or something. Um, a magnifying glass, which is not not glass. It looks like it's, it's plastic or acrylic or synthetic. It definitely does not feel like glass. It doesn't feel like it's heavy enough to be glass. Let's see. It's um, yeah, it's not it's not glass. Don't know if this will start a fire. I don't have enough sunshine here to even see at this point in time. I don't think we can even get a. Uh, we don't have enough sunshine here, so we can't tell. But it's got a magnifying glass. You can maybe use it to get a splinter out of your finger. You can. De it definitely works for magnifying. Uh, let's see. We got uh, two band aids. Um, not two. Uh, two alcohol pads, which could also be fire starters or disinfectants. A one wound pad, double-sided nine in here, so just a little piece of gauze padding. <sighs> I guess you could use that for a fire starter. One latex condom, uh, non-lubricated, so you can use this to, for, for water, to, to, to capture, store water, whatever. Um, let's see, we got some fishing line here, some little, little monofilament fishing line, uh, four meters of it, so that's gonna be about 12 feet of fishing line. Three fish hooks, um, uh, a number three fish hook, a number eight fish hook, a number eleven fish hook, and two um, two little sinkers. There's that. We've got the sealed bottle, one piece. We've got uh, five safety pins. Those are good for repairing stuff, or whatever. We got a little a little tiny tea candle. That, that's a very handy item to have. I gotta say, say I like that. Got the eight matches. Uh, that was waterproof matches. And we've got a sewing kit with. Uh, it's got two needles um, and three pieces of sewing pins, it says. I see two needles in here and some thread. Um, 11 in one function card knife with a blade saw. So um, that blade is actually maybe the best one I've ever seen on one of these little knives, I gotta be honest with you. And the saw is too. Um, it actually feels like it might actually cut something. Let's just try that real quick, if and you don't mind. Let's just take this, we'll see. Um, see if we can carve some feathers with this, with this blade. Maybe turn it around. So this blade is actually pretty decent. Uh, wow, it really does have a decent blade on it. I'm, I'm surprised by that. I've, this a, in a nice little point here, that's the first one of these I've ever seen that could actually cut something, to, to be honest with you. Let's just see how the saw works. If you need to make notches to make a snare or whatever, that saw actually does pretty good too. So, um, <laughs> so I'll be honest with you, the one tool that I was expecting to be totally disappointed in turns out to be one of, in maybe one of the best things in here as far as actual function. So, <clears throat> so that's it. That's everything in here. Let's talk about it real quickly, recap, and tell you what I like, what I don't like, and whether I think this is worth 75 bucks. Um, I like, first of, all, first of all, I like the ballistic pouch that comes in. I think this is a nice pouch. Um, probably worth, worth, you know, 10 bucks or so uh, just for the pouch. It's a very nice pouch and it, um, it gives you the ability to store that thing and keep it with you. Um, the tin is a good size. I think it's a, it's a handy size package altogether. You could stick this in your pocket if you needed to. Um, I like these little blades, but what I really like about this is big enough you can put a real knife in here. Um, there's several knives I've seen and reviewed over the years that would fit in here, very good knives. And there'd be, still be room for some more stuff. So um, The matches I like, although I would say um, they don't seem to be as good as um, Yuko, Yuko Stormproof matches. Um, they just, man, I'm, you, it's hard to beat Yukos. Uh, the compass, uh, compass is worthless. Um, Band-aids, not really sure how, how important that is to survival. I mean, I guess if you keep, it keeps, if you got something in there to keep you from getting infected, I'd much rather see a little piece of duct tape or something in there. 
Alcohol pads, yeah, alcohol pads are good to have. They, they're good for, 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 for cleaning, disinfecting stuff, and also for um, for fire starting. So those those are fine to have in there. They don't take up very much room, so there's really no, it doesn't hurt to put them in. Um, <clears throat> the ferro rod, yeah, ferro rod's good. This is a nice little ferro rod. Um, it's got a decent enough handle and you can hold it. The striker works, so those are two good good items. Brass wire, um, I mean, I guess you could make a, you could make a, um, you can make a snare or something out of this. I, you know, I don't know. I'm, 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 that's, a, that's a three foot of brass wire. You can make a snare. I don't know how effective that's going to be. Um, people are really concerned about food in a survival situation. And typically, you need to be much more concerned about water. Which, speaking of water, I think the um, little purification tablets are good. I hate that these are all crunched up, but um, you know, it came from Russia, so I guess maybe that's why. But I like that they're in a little waterproof container, so you could put. You could put a, a lot more in here, um, uh, since this already has an O-ring, you could put a lot more water, water purification tablets in here if you wanted to. That's a good thing to have. Uh, same, same with the condom. That's just a good, it's not the strongest in the world. You need a bandana or something to put around it, but, it, but you can put a lot of water in a condom, which is, is, is so, water is important. I'm telling you, water, in my opinion, is much more important than food in most survival situations. I like the whistle. I wish it was louder. Let's try it one more time. Okay, it's pretty loud. My ears are ringing. That's good. The uh, magnifying glass. Uh, I wish it were glass. I don't know how well this thing would, would, would start a fire. It might. I have don't have enough sunshine to tell. So we're gonna give that one a we'll give that one a, a buy. We'll say okay. Fishing kit. It's okay. I wish it were better fishing line. A 12 feet of fishing line. Um, it, you know, you could dig dig this in and catch something with it probably. Probably. So that's good. Um, what else? What else? What else? This little cotton, just a good fire starter, that's fine. Sewing kit, believe it or not, I think is a good thing in a survival kit, kind of handy to have. Um, ah, let's see. Safety pins, yeah, um, there's a lot of safety pins in here. They seem to take up a lot of room. I don't know that you would need that many, but um, there's that. The candle is an absolute winner. I like the candle. I think that's an excellent thing. Uh, it's just a little source of light and a source of fire. Believe it or not, I'm surprisingly, I like this little steel steel blade, um, this steel tool. I don't know about the other stuff, you're really gonna need any of this other stuff, but the fact that it's got a good saw and a good um, a good kind of a pry bar on it, screwdriver, and the blade is actually sharp, is, was amazed, it amazed me, I'll be honest with you. And then finally, the wound pad, I have that just doesn't seem like it's necessary in a survival situation, but that's, there you go, there's that. And this saw, not a big fan of these saws, but there you go. Chug Norris can bake a cake in the freezer. Okay, well that was a hopefully reasonably coherent look at the Kinsley R Supreme Survival Kit. Um, uh, just give me my final thoughts on this thing. Um, I had high hopes for this kit. I like the size of it. This is a big enough box that could have some really useful stuff in there. Um, and I think some of the stuff in it was good. Some of it wasn't so good. I, I'm honestly a little disappointed in this. It seems like there's just like a formula that, that survival that people make to put in survival kits that isn't really well necessarily well thought out. They always got a bunch of safety pins. Safety pins are great for repairs, but um, I think that I'd rather have something that's going to help me stay alive. It's a survival kit. The, well, the definition of surviving is staying alive. So uh, I, I like to see. I really like to see um, a, a large water water bag other than a condom. I like to see maybe a a um, you know a water collection bag in here, a bigger one like a one liter bag. A little let down. I thought it would be great. I really, really, really like the Kisley R Supreme knives, and I had high hopes for the survival kit, but I, I don't think this is um, up up to par with their knives. Um, I, and, and it really disappointed me because, like I said, the size of this thing is big enough that you can. You, I think you could have some really useful stuff that would fit in here. But uh, maybe if they just sold the empty tin and the case, that'd be great. But I don't think it's worth 75 bucks. I'll just be straight with you. Uh, some of the items were great, but uh, I mean, like the compass. I mean, the compass is absolutely a piece of piece of junk. Um, it's just a piece of plastic. Um, with, with, a, with a dial in it that maybe is magnetized. It, it pointed this way the one minute and this way the next minute. So just not good. Anyway, but that's why we, we check these things out. And um, I don't like to do negative reviews. Usually I, I don't post negative stuff, but something like a survival kit, if you're gonna depend on this to, um, to save your life, then it needs to be good. So I wanna be straight with you. 
So uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, thanks again to the folks at Cast Eye Beard for sending me this along with some um, Kisly R Supreme knives. I really appreciate it. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.